how to teach a joint quantum physics by Chad Wilson. And I thought it was fairly interesting when we about like some basic quantum physics things, uh, although I appreciate that that may not be for everyone. Um, it has sort of entertaining, it, it's interspersed in it to uh, lighten the mood of it um, and make it less serious. So I found it very interesting, a read. Um, well, the, one of the chapters has about, is about things that quantum physics most certainly does not do, such as give you everlasting life or free energy. So if you have anyone trying to, to say like quant, a quantum way for everlasting life, you're lying. Have you managed to teach your dog quantum physics? I do not have a dog, so no, I haven't. Yeah. The dog in this is fairly fictional considering that she talks, but yeah. Can you tell us about Schrodinger's cat? Um, yeah, it's like the, it's the thought experiment that says, it, in quantum physics, um, the cat would be both alive and dead in the box at the same time until you opened it, in which case it would become either alive or dead. But until it is observed, it's both alive, it's a superstition of being both alive and dead. Do you think you could teach cats quantum physics, or is it just dogs? I think both cats and dogs are equally capable of being taught quantum physics, uh, although I wouldn't like to try. Either. Could you teach? Quantum physics to the cat uh, used by Schrodinger? Probably not, considering it might be dead. I still also wouldn't be able to teach quantum physics to you because you're just that stupid. And yeah, so um, all in all, I've read this book a uh, eight out of ten. Uh, yeah, read it if you like quantum physics, but probably not for those who aren't scientists.